from girls sometimes and you sit there and you're like, just do the same thing we do. What do I say? No, do guys are smart. Or do they do you, do that. No, do you wait to respond to keep her on her toes? Do you do it on purpose? Like, do you wait like a specific time limit? Yeah, you can't respond right away and then you just give it in. So like, you look at you like, all right, this is what you said. Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'll text her like an hour. And then like, depending on the night, I might forget and then I might like text her. And I want to even hang out with her, but I'm like, oh, I'll text her an hour. Because you're going to keep her on her toes. You get, there's going to be some kind of chase. Because like, once you're like, oh, you should come over. Let's hang out. Let's go to dinner. Let's get, what do you kind of want to eat? What do you want to go? What do you want to do? And like, all of a sudden she's like, ah, oh, no, I'm good. So you kind of got to play that thing. Because so like, if a girl did that to me, she's like, I'm going to come over. What more do you want to watch? Want to watch a romantic, rom, uh, sorry, romantic comedy? I'm like, yeah, all right. And then she's like, I'll bring over wine. I'll do this. And I'm like, whoa, calm down. I don't That's why I don't think a girl you. should ever be the one to initiate a conversation. I really <laughs> like the romanticism. And if a guy is interested in you, they'll reach out. If they're not, they won't. They're very yeah. cut. After a certain amount of time, though, do you feel like, okay, so I, can now, I can this now jump bullshit. in. No, so if well, they don't, then you don't jump in. It's over. It's yeah. done. See, a guy it's is a fucking game. Guys don't they like games, but they fucking play games. So it's like, you yeah, know. Hold on. I got to cut you off. Guys play games. Is <laughs> that what you're saying? <laughs> guys, you they, guys they, they, don't like, games. they don't like girls that I, play games. But guys play games. If you're with a guy who's playing a game with you, then you should probably not be with him. Because he's probably going to just cause you a headache down the road. Am I right? I'm not touching on that right now. <laughs> well, it's true. The guy that I'm dating is holding out on me right now. Well, then you Get need to not date him. Next. Goodbye. Next. next. Seven dates. Seven dates and I haven't gotten laid. He's gay. There you we've go. He's played. gay. We've played. We've played. No, he's gay. He's or he's gay. a virgin. And then there's one of the two. Okay. So I said virgin. I thought he was a virgin. Yeah, yeah, he can't said. be a virgin. Please say he's not a virgin. Seven dates and you haven't gotten laid. Is he a Mormon? No, we're Jews. <laughs> We're all about procreating. <laughs> and he knows that you want to have sex. I mean, how do you not know that she you want to have sex? Maybe oh, he likes it, and there shouldn't be any problem with maybe that. Maybe he has an issue. Yeah. An issue? Yes. Or, or it's an issue. An issue. That's what I'm saying. An issue? But maybe he can <laughs> last like a fucking Superman. I don't know. You don't know. I have no idea because you want to know why? Is because when he didn't get me off, I won't get him off, and that will I'll leave him with a pitch. Oh, you're the worst. I will leave him. <laughs> what are you he's talking the about? Worst. It's you give seven I, dates. He's paid for seven I'm days. Sorry. Get the man off. Girls go into a situation knowing what guys want. They don't want to sit there and work on you for an hour and a half. You know what I mean? Oh, That's why I pull out the vibrators, but they don't like that. He doesn't. <laughs> no, I, sex toys intimidate guys. I don't think so. I don't, I don't use think them right. so. You don't think they intimidate guys? I mean, it, 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 I mean, I, I think sex. I don't want anything going up me. Like that's why I have like a penis. I want the. I don't want a piece of plastic. That's why I married you. Thank you. I'll take your penis. But like, if I pull out something that vibrates or that will make it more fun, like my husband is like hell yeah. And I feel like, I feel like most of my friends that have guys that their boyfriends are intimidated by. By it, it's not saying that you're not doing something right. It just makes it more pleasurable for other people. Know. If I like, it would be a great accomplishment if I did it. Yes, I would love to make you cut off, whatever. But yeah. I'm like, if I could use some help, fuck, it makes it easier and quicker. And then it comes back on me that I'm in. I'm like, <laughs> Let's to go back to do it. Like you know, like yeah. I've had girls do the whole vibrator thing. And I'm like, fantastic. Is this what's gonna work? Because some girls have been like, oh, I can't get off unless I have this or I do this. So it's like. Or well then, what like, am I wasting my what am I spinning my wheels in the mud for? You know, like come on, help me out. It's like you, then you just give, make me try really hard, and yeah. I get no like I get no reward. It's true though. If I can not have ten, if I can have ten vibrators. orgasms or one, like why would I not want to have ten in one night? Like come on, who? I just hmm. we know. <laughs> really Take note from this: that girl's that. married. Oh. <laughs> like that's exactly. she's like I want ten in mm -hmm. one night, and I'm like the single girl. But honestly, before, before I got married, though, like I, I, a lot of these things, like I can't relate to because I was like I made guys chase me. Like I didn't, I wasn't like we're gonna have sex tonight. I was like, like I know you say that's what guys want. Like obviously guys want sex, but I was the girl that was like. You're, you can get stuff from me, but you're not. I'm not having sex with to you. To be honest, if I I thought that too, but look what happened. <laughs> to, to be honest, if I take a girl on a date, to yeah. get a girl on a date, I actually like for me, it's not like a blind date. It's never. I've never really done the blind date. I've never been like, oh, let's go on a date. It's more like we've had a conversation, we've yeah. gone out, and it's gotten to the point where it's like, okay, if I can go on this girl on a date, as as much as I want to get laid, there's a certain point in me where it's just like, I don't want to get laid. Don't yeah. let me have sex with you because if I have sex with you on the first date, then it's over. And yeah. that's a mental thing that I've done where it's like, and I'm like, oh, I'd love to have sex with her. But then we go out and I'm like, all right, if we do this and then go back to her place, I'm like, don't, don't be so easy. Don't be so easy. And then like, once she is, it's like, it's over. But if she's not, I'm like, yeah. I'll go on another date with her.